Byzantine cuisine, Wikipedia article audio. Byzantine cuisine was marked by a merger of Greek and Roman gastronomy. The development of the Byzantine Empire and trade brought in spices, sugar, and new vegetables to Greece. Cooks experimented with new combinations of food, creating two styles in the process. These were the Eastern, consisting of Byzantine cuisine supplemented by trade items, and a leaner style primarily based on local Greek culture. Diet Drink Byzantine food consumption varied by class. The imperial palace was a metropolis of spices and exotic recipes, guests were entertained with fruits, honey cakes and syrupy sweetmeats. Ordinary people ate more conservatively. The core diet consisted of bread, vegetables, pulses, and cereals prepared in varied ways. Salad was very popular, to the amazement of the Florentines, the Emperor John VIII Palaiologos asked for it at most meals on his visit in 1439. The Byzantines produced various cheeses, including anthotyro, or kfalotary. They also relished shellfish and fish, both fresh, and salt water. They prepared eggs to make famous omelettes called sfangata, i.e. spongy mentioned by Theodore Prodromos. Every household also kept a supply of poultry. Byzantine elites obtained other kinds of meat by hunting, a favorite and distinguished occupation of men. They usually hunted with dogs and hawks, though sometimes employed trapping, netting, and bird liming. Larger animals were a more expensive and rare food. Citizens slaughtered pigs at the beginning of winter and provided their families with sausages, salt pork, and lard for the year. Only upper middle and higher Byzantines could afford lamb. They seldom ate beef, as they used cattle to cultivate the fields. Middle and lower class citizens in cities such as Constantinople and Thessaloniki consumed the offerings of the taverna. The most common form of cooking was boiling, a tendency which sparked a derisive Byzantine maxim the lazy cook prepares everything by boiling. Garo's fermented fish sauce in all its varieties was especially favored as a condiment along with the umami flavoring mori, a fermented barley sauce, which was similar to the modern umami flavoring, the fermented soy product soy sauce. Lyut Prand of Cremona, the ambassador to Constantinople from Otto I, described being served food covered in an exceedingly bad fish liquor, a reference to Garo's. Many scholars state that Byzantine copto Plakos and play Countess Teteromenus are the ancestors of modern Baklava and Tyropeta respectively. Both variants descended from the ancient Roman placenta cake. Thanks to the location of Constantinople between popular trade routes, Byzantine cuisine was augmented by cultural influences from several locales such as Lombard Italy, the Persian Empire, and an emerging Arabic empire. The resulting melting pot continued during Ottoman times and therefore modern Turkish cuisine, Greek cuisine, and Balkans cuisine are all almost identical, and use a very wide range of ingredients. Macedonia was renowned for its wines, served for upper-class Byzantines. During the Crusades and after, Western Europeans valued costly Byzantine wines. The most famous example is the still extant Commandaria wine from Cyprus served at the wedding of King Richard the Lionheart. Other renowned varieties were Cretan wines from Muscat grapes, Romania or Rumni, and Malvasia or Momzi. Retsina, wine flavored with pine resin, was also drunk, as it still is in Greece today producing similar reactions from unfamiliar visitors, to add to our calamity the Greek wine, on account of being mixed with pitch, resin, and plaster was to us undrinkable, 
complained Lyudprand of Cremona, who was the ambassador sent to Constantinople in 968 by the German Holy Roman Emperor Otto I. Modern General Sources Greek cuisine, Cypriot cuisine, Arab cuisine, Turkish cuisine, Lebanese cuisine, Medieval cuisine.